how shall I say, they're starting from, from uh, a native side of doing the title on that marae. That, that, they've gone from what we did on Titi as a magistrate, then that, that's another magistrate up there, and then the other one was down in Waimana, we opened up the magistrate called Ana Marae, then they bring that magistrate from that one through Titi, it's still got to go back through Titi, they're bringing that one to make the complaint in another marae in Auckland, and we turn that one into a native court, any marae, do our court hearing, send it straight over to Britain. So really, really they're an arm of the Titi marae, land, uh, popos, from there up to there, then that's one hapu doing, doing their thing, and then they bring it back to Auckland where the commerce is, right? The commerce, the flag's up there, the commerce and the bank is in Auckland, on the Awaroa, Awaroa um, Bank, the original Awaroa Bank in Helenville, and to, uh, from that native court to Okiato Native Court up in uh, Russell, to the Whakawhitira Native Court in uh, um, um, Tikiti, uh, Rotore. And so those are the only three native courts in the Magistrate Court that form this land title, the native land title. And then we just put that together in Auckland and send it back to the British and the British will clean them out. That's, that's, how, that's, how, that's how we're doing it. From, from, it only can be a paramount because the paramount is equal to the king in the, in the documents from, from Edinburgh, <coughs> Scotland, where all our titles are. That they put them together there, but <coughs> that's the Edinburgh Magistrate Court. Then to uh, Westminster Magistrate Court. Those two Magistrate Courts will always be there, and that's our court. That's our native court here that we're setting up. We can do what we like with that flag now because it's legal. They can't stop us. They can't stop us. And we're gonna we're gonna do this in that fashion. You you can stay Ariki because that that's the real owner, and now bundling them are commercial landowners. See, so they're treating all the commerce here in Auckland on another marae that's a satellite of the TT marae, right? All the documents go together. I'm just making certain that that court hearing that I won in, in, in Auckland, that, that, that'll deter them from trying to go me again, right? The police won't get involved again because they know they won't win. They won't try it. But the Paramount Chiefs will have, have more say on the commercial side. Okay? okay? That's how it works. But so what are you up to? Nothing. Oh, you're looking after yourself, all right? You're, you're, you're bumbling bundle of, bundle of joy? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. No, I am. So as long as you keep like that, forget about the rest of the world and just carry on until we get something going. I'm just letting you know what we are up to. Okay. And if you turn up to the hui in Auckland, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too, because they know they've got a job to do. Uh, I haven't set a date yet. I think it'll be the end of August or September <coughs> before they <coughs> make the ruling on the uh, New Zealand wars before uh, October the 28th. The government is, is more or less taking their flag for themselves. They're taking it. Taking it that, that's what they've, they've designed uh, that day to do on the 28th. So we're heading it off. And now that the, the British, I'm watching the British uh, a government as well because uh, the Prime Minister there has 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 uh, set up Belfast <coughs> as the uh, DUP party which is really us in Belfast on that um, King William III title to their flag they've gone and jumped in there and so I'm linking them up to us over there to make the flag work on our on our benefit here in Auckland uh, against the government here on our authority who we get our authority from you see so so we really we're doing the the bank side of the money that will come out anyway as soon as I get Cook Street you're going to be financial up there and that's the way I'm, I'm seeing it from and that's the way Bundy and, and money sees it money has got a claim like me that I was going to England to get the probate all of Maori got a probate and he's just about got his through but I'm helping him to put his through because they stole mine, the lawyer and, 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 and the Lloyds Bank stole my one, that was 16 million. So every Maori's got, got a, a probate over there and uh, so I'm going to go back through mine and pick it up over there because the police CIB over here said it's a fraud, they can't do it here, I have to go to England to do it. And what do you mean they stole yours? They stole your money? 
Yeah, the 16 million from from what the, what was set up by the barrister over there and the Lloyd's Bank for me to because I put a claim in for the for my own inheritance there in the trust. You you can do that. You can apply to the trust from your own trust here to the trust in in Britain, uh, um, HM Treasury, to get a probate on any uh, of your ancestors. Uh, left in state. Otherwise, the, cl the crown claims it. You see, if you don't claim your ancestors' um, um, inheritance, they claim it. They take over your trust and anything here, and any trust, all the same. They're bank, uh, bank um, uh, accounts, and, oh, yeah. and so if you don't claim your probate here from your ancestor, the crown takes it, put it in into public trust for themselves to make money out of. It. And you're still, you're still got only. Uh, five more years to claim it at 71 years old, and they cut it off after that. <coughs> See, so I only got a short short time to claim it before I hit that age on anything, and that's what was set up for me over there to get. But the lawyer and thing took off, and I got to go back to England to, to get it back. But <coughs> I, I, I'm just telling you straight, uh, Kenny, that the moment Bundy and know what to do, that they, they're they're going hard out to come down to Auckland to take this title out on Cook Street and that'll be the end of that and then we should get financial straight away um, okay. from, from that and I'll split it all off. I'm going to split it. I'm putting it online now. I'm showing everybody how it works, um, how, how it's divvied up between 30% of the population here is elite on the Crown Queen side and 70% I'm putting the 70% as beneficiaries to what I'm doing in this court hearing because it had to go somewhere. So I'm just saying, right, 70% of the, the, the people are down our outers with, with nothing, it's going to end up with this lot, you see? And on the other hand, in Napui up there will have the Whakameninga. I'm, I'm pushing the Whakameninga now. I'm, I've designed a stamp for the Whakameninga uh, for their, their legal titles and their legal documents that Bundy is doing now. So I've made the stamp. I'm, I'm going to get it, um, um, a, a wooden one, made on Monday. And, um, um, and that'll stamp the documents of legal title and, and, and distrust bank stuff. And that'll kick, kick off Ngāpui. On, on Titi Marae, they'll have their own budget up there. You'll have your own budget up in Whakaminia. And Auckland for the commercial straight to Britain from here. So there'll be two sides of the, the financials that I'm putting together online. <coughs> I'm putting it online because no one can go and contest it, you see? It's public and it's nobody's business to know how we do it um, other than I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you what, what, how, how I'm doing things here legally uh, through the system and um, uh, with uh, Bundy and, and Manahi, he's a JP and for the Queen side and the King side to stamp the documents to go to England. So he knows what to do. <coughs> and for our birth certificates as well. He's, he's got his uh, sorted. So the birth certificates are down in Whakawhitira and the, the, the flag is up in, uh, up in uh, Ngāpui, at Titi, and the business of the Whakamininga is here in Auckland. Okay, you, you get that? That's how it works. And I'm taking care of the bank here for the, for the uh, bank in England. It's set, up, it's set up over there already and all I do is let you know what's going on. And everybody knows. So there's nobody's going to try and balk the system like this fellow Marisich. He's getting jealous because it looks too straight ahead. And and I don't keep any secrets, Kenny. I, I, I don't keep any secrets about what I do. It's up to anybody to say it's not true. There's nobody saying anything that it's not true, Kenny. You see? So if they say, say nothing, when they say nothing in this court hearing over here, that goes as true because I'm not on my own anymore. You see? I'm not on my, I've got Ngāpuhi there. Ngāpuhi's taking the title. You see? Don't matter who's who, Kenny, as long as it works. As long as the document works, and that's all that matters. That, that's what Bundy and they know, that, that, and, and uh, Hedewini and them up there, they all, and, and Hohep and them, they're all in it now. They know that don't muck around, just go do it. Come be, down here, support this. Uh, other organisation, two organisations, Whakameninga and this one here, the Moai Crown King William IV Trust. Right? That's the one that's going to hold money in Auckland. But 
the Maui Crown, King William Trust, the Maui Crown is Tahiti, and the king is 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 the flag. The flag's business here in Auckland, Kingi. I'm I'm running just from here straight to England with the other crew on the other end, and they know what they can see what's going on here. They know who we are now. They know who we are, and uh, uh, we have to go as ourselves as Hapu. Uh, not, not, not as Maori because the Crown has got Maori tied up in their contract. So we, we're going everything <coughs> on the Crown side of use of Maori and the abuse of Maori land titles and Maori uh, this and that. They own the Maori patent rights and so we're going against them with this Maui against the Maori on the Crown's corporation business trust. Okay? We, we have our own Maui. Uh, Crown King William for Trust as being uh, administration in Auckland business for Ngāpuhi up there and they'll be in this business straight to England from here and the business is in Auckland that we debtor the banks here in Auckland against against all those people running it, right? We're not savages anymore, we're, we're, we're business people on this end and we're going to use our, our uh, flag as what it's supposed to be, business. Uh, 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 only, only business, Kingy, that's all. It's only business. And if we don't do it, the Crown's going to pick it up on, on the 28th of October and use it for themselves because they've been using it all this time. They've got all the money out of it, Kingy. I'm trying to get all the money back they made out of it. And that's what this this court hearing in Auckland is for. It's, it's a native... Uh, magistrate grand jury hearing on um, Marae, and that's the uh, University of Marae in Epsom, which is neutral to um, uh, any other Marae that's run by the Crown. Okay, it's a University Crown Marae, and so that makes things better. That's why I went there. Oh, I am. It's close to One Tree Hill, uh, where the title is on on the hill. So Ngāpui is still running this business. Okay. That those 13 chiefs are running this whole business uh, that I do, and I, I, I make no bones about it. I, I, I'm pushing that play along uh, on a, a, a straight path because it's being seen more now as being <coughs> somebody's business. Somebody's business. Somebody's using that flag for business, and now they're fashioning King Prince William to be king. Of, 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 of something. He can't be the King of Britain because there's already a King there. That's the one we've got to nominate him. These Paramount Chiefs will do it in the court here. Uh, that follow the thing, um, um, uh, Ernest Augustus V, he's, he's the King of Britain, um, Hanover. And if William goes in, all hell's going to let loose. If he gets in, it's going to go pear-shaped because they're just going to keep running their business like it is, killing everybody in the world. Um, and we're gonna, we, we're the only ones that can, can put an end to that. And that flag can take all the other America's admiralty off them. That's what we're doing here in this hearing. King. This flag will stop everybody using that admiralty and abusing the king's laws to make money out of and cause wars. That's what this flag does, King. It makes war for business. And we are supposed to be there to, to stop all that and use it for common people. The king's people, common law people, supposed to have that flag for, for keeping the pirates away. They've turned everybody into pirates, Kingy. Everybody's a pirate because they make them pay up. They, they should be paying up, not us. <coughs> so that's all I'm doing, Kingy, and, and it all makes sense. And the more people, yeah, the, there's more people uh, uh, knowing what's going on in the whole world. I'm, I'm, I'm one of many in the world who are doing this. Uh, to bring all those thugs uh, to account, and there's few of them. They're, this is the worst place for for all the fraud, um, blue collar people is here, and those billionaires are coming in, hiding on your land up there, Kingy. All the money they've stolen. We're going after those. We just need to do that Cook Street land, and the whole rest of it is going to drop in um, in behind that. <coughs> Mark my word, Kingy. Believe me, that's what's going to happen. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So long as you're all right, I'm all right. I'm, I'm going to the gym and, and eating, eating good. 
Uh, but I'm, I'm a bit sad my girls have taken off. Uh, one's gone to London. Oh, he just saying I, I I've got I'm sick and and all this and I'm crazy uh, because of what I do online and and um, then I, I I told him I told him I'll show you how sick I am when I come up there and you're there I'm gonna drop you right in front of you I'm gonna, I'm, I'm I'm that woman strong now I'll drop the matter because he's worked. he's upset me upset me too too long but the worst thing was uh, now that I'm back on the Cook Street uh, land thing it's him that took those marshals in and it's him that got off he didn't get arrested and he's saying he wasn't in the contract I said you were all in the contract I made these marshals sign and he signed as well but I made a separate one because I made him a deputy sheriff you see and I know his family is tied up with these elite people. These are these these ones in amongst our Maori people that are, uh, are doing all these things to, to make us go off the track, make Maori go off the track. This is one of them. And and the only way online can the only way I get it out of them is to is to threaten them, and it all comes out. It all comes out in front of everybody, and I leave it there on my sites. Every time I do that, I leave it there for everybody to read. Just to see what sort of a man he is, okay? He might, he sounds, uh, he's saying this about Jesus and this about Jesus. I said, I got Moa, why do I need a middleman? Uh, I just go straight up. Uh, I don't need any middleman or you to tell me what to do. And, uh, but anyway, he's been involved with, with, with Maori things up, up in Napui. And he says, I know, I don't know shit all. Uh, and and calling me this and that, uh, but um, yeah. you know people can pick. Well, they know I write like that. I've been I've been right like that for a long time. I start swearing online. I don't care stuff as long as I get my point across. Uh, and and it goes on and on and on and on and on. Just when he come along because I stopped now and he's wondering what's what's happened to me. He said I got I got a heart attack if I keep this up. I said, I'm not on medication, because he said, no, you're going to take your meds. I said, I'm not on medication. I'm, 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 I'm off it altogether. Um, but anyway, it, it got personal. It, it got really personal. And um, um, he's, he's a businessman. He, he's a bit like um, uh, some of those other fellows up in Napui. They're good businessmen, but on the other side, they've got something uh, real going on <coughs> behind our back and this is how I get it out of them and now everybody knows. <coughs> I said to him, I'll put all his stuff online. See, they've taken, they've taken the, the, the videos and the photos all off YouTube and offline from that Cook Street um, 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 raid. They've taken everything off, you see, and I'm putting it all back on again because the, the media put it all on, so they probably told the media, take it all off, because it doesn't look like lose, they don't want to appear to be losing in front of me. You see? They're going to, they're gonna, rather than them lose again, I'm going to make sure they don't get in the road on the legal side of titles. You see? So it's, it's really, this is the last shot I've got, Kingy. This is the last shot I've got. It'll be on on uh, on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, on the Marae. If there's too many people, I go to Money Rewa Marae. But I've got to make sure I can book the Marae ahead of time. But I got to just make sure me and Desmond got enough money to pay for the Marae, and um, um, because I I usually save up and and skint on food to, to keep my money to get the petrol to get around. I don't have to get petrol to get up to Te Hapua now, because I've been spending a lot of money to get around the bloody place. Had to cut down, cut down going to Hui's because I got to make sure I've, I've got enough, I've got enough money to get by on until I get this first, this first case done on Cook Street. We'll have money straight in the bank. I can tell you, I've got it all set up. I've got the bank. I'll take the bank land as well if if, if they don't pull pull ball this time. And any piece of land after that, Kenny. But Bundy and and uh, and and. Um, 
Manahi have been working with me right through uh, uh, from the last hui we had up in uh, in uh, Poroho has jumped in now so I was I was the opposite to Poroho but he's I don't care who it is uh, Kingi we need all the Maoris I've come to grips with it now that it's not worth bashing all the other ones up amongst yourself it's best for them to go to, Poroho is going to the hui up up in Te Hapu. they all come down here oh that's what I think that I would know uh, if they're coming down here. But I'm setting everything up here so that we've got all the documents and the magistrate court bound, bound, bound copy, those 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 um, um, Manahi and, and Bundy will have a bound magistrate. That means the document they, they have is the title to boot the Crown around with it, uh, as a magistrate straight into the Westminster Magistrate Court. Um, so that's what I'm, I'm putting together, this bound copy. Uh, that's uh, that's for those guys to pull pull the, the the crown into court into a contract. I'm gonna pull them into contract with the magistrate court to to make them pay up. All right. I'm putting the I'm putting the foot on them now, Kingy. I'm putting the foot on the crown. I mean, not not the other guys up there. But the, I've the, they've got confidence now on on doing it. They've got confidence okay. in doing it. And you're 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 safe straight there on on the right. They know. They know they'll come to you at the Marae because it's just another bank transaction to go there where it started off. And you can expect the account to be functional after we get this one in Auckland done. Okay, I'll let you know when the who is. It's public. It'll be on online. It'll be advertised. But I'll, I'll let you know on email because I've been sending them emails on what to do. And they're following, they're following what I'm saying. Eh? Okay, Kingy. Cheers, mate. Nice Bye. to talk again. Bye. There, yeah, that's Kingy. That's Kingy. I'm glad he rang because all we say, all I say against bad things about Kingy, you know, I put those things aside. It's, it's a pity I didn't get the front end of this video uh, because I missed the bits that really mattered at the beginning. But however, it was just that when we started talking, uh, we were talking about um, uh, the absence of time we haven't been talking. And that's a lot to, to uh, talk about, uh, to bring things up to date. See, he doesn't mind um, me talking straight, uh, so long as there's something in it that looks like uh, a beginning of an end or an end to a beginning <coughs> between him and I and where we have been at this for a long, long time. Um, I want to make sure that uh, uh, we all on the same page with all of Ngāpui up there because I'm talking only about Ngāpui um, as being, that's where I go to sign off the documents from the Marais in Auckland and the East Coast, I always take it to Waitangi religiously, go there on Waitangi Day or um, Declaration of Independence Day or any big hui's they have and take those signed documents up. They're all in the bag. Uh, but now I've got to condense everything down to a small um, uh, document um, that's big enough as a magistrate um, a court uh, portable. That means the magistrate man himself is the captain of the ship that gets off and says, I'm talking for the king, not the queen, for the king. Uh, so um, we just had a, a bit of catch up and uh, uh, just a message, uh, a shout out to uh, Bundy, uh, Waitai and uh, um, um, Manahi, um, para para. Mohini, uh, and um, also um, um, Hiriwini, Karaka, my uh, three most prominent uh, Ngāpuhi chiefs. Um, I call them paramounts, and the meaning of paramount means um, uh, equal status to a king, or their surname goes as far back in time, past the time of the Europeans and British getting here. So that surname carried on through. 
we're carrying our surnames from the islands um, of Tahiti uh, and um, uh, Moriori from um, um, uh, Riku or Chatham Islands, that was a country, that's the Moriori from there, that's um, uh, Manahi side, the Parapara and the Mohini, those old names, and the, and the Manukau. Um, uh, one, he's represented the Manukau family um, tree on the business, commercial business side, that we are here today, and in the last 20 or so years, uh, 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 a custom, custom um, title here on the land every day, uh, looking after it and administering our business uh, with the King and this eight point star flag uh, contract, private contract with us, the inhabitants or the residents or permanent resident commercial landowners now. I'm telling Kingi, he's the Ariki of the Marae at Titi and Waitangi, <coughs> just fill him in to be um, on on the legal side of his informed now, I've just informed him as the surrogate King William the Fourth and surrogate King William the Third and surrogate St. Patrick's eight point star flag and seal of jurisdiction and admiralty, court martial law um, with the paramount chiefs, not by myself anymore. Um, and um, we are forcing our King's Bench Magistrate Court Law on the Crown Corporation's private business owners here and their trusts and their public companies and private companies. We're billing them as being 30% of the population of New Zealand against the 70% of the King's Bench Court people we put as being <coughs> beneficiaries to this Maui Crown King William IV Trust in Auckland City here under the Auckland Native Grand Jury Magistrate Court. Cool. That's where we're setting up. It can be any Marae. We're, we're taking this seal straight into their Magistrate Court in Edinburgh, Scotland and Westminster Magistrate Court into the High Court of Admiralty in the Rolls Building, London, online case. Two hour online cases from the case we put in Auckland. I'm just making this public notice. I don't know which day we are going to have the meeting. I'll just make a tentative date of August the uh, Friday the 1st, Saturday the 2nd and Sunday the 3rd. Either Te Unga Waka Marae, or Mani Rewa Marae, or another Marae. Uh, it doesn't really matter which Marae. So, I have to book the Marae. And uh, if not, it will be in September. On the following week in September, on the 1st of Friday, the 1st of September, Saturday, Second and third. I thought that was August. Hang on. Uh, August would be August would be. Oh, I see. August is the f September. It'll be September. Oh, right. Here we go. It would be September the first. Friday. Saturday the second, and Sunday the third. It'll be those three days or one day. If we're squashed for time, it'll be one day. But I needed time for people to have a rest. So it'll be um, first, second, first is Friday. Friday be in the afternoon or something. Stay overnight. Saturday. We could have it just Friday, Friday and Saturday second and cut out the third Sunday Kingy. Um, we could have just Friday and Saturday. Stay over Friday and all day Saturday on the Marae um, <coughs> from midday 
from midday, oh no, sorry, from four o'clock on Friday, from four o'clock on Friday, so you got a long time, a lot of time to get there overnight on the Friday, and the uh, hui be on the Saturday, uh, the second, and um, we'll leave it at, at the Friday and the Saturday as one day, Friday, and Friday, two days, Friday and Saturday. Um, Friday 4 o'clock to Saturday 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll make that tentatively now um, as being um, the date of the hui. If not, it'll be the following week on Friday the 11th, 11th of September. 11th of September. Depending on, on what's happening up north, I, I'd need to know after their hui on the 20th, uh, 18th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th in Te Hapua. So I just let Kingi know what's going on in Te Hapua on their four day hui and so <coughs> he didn't know, have to know anything about that, um, what's going on there because he can stay on the Mariah spiritual or whatever, uh, Ariki, um, which is really customary landowner and leave all the corporate stuff in Auckland with uh, me and Bundy and them. We're on the, the financial banking side um, and um, <coughs> there'll be lots of people um, involved in that on the Maori side from that business set up in Auckland. It's global from there into London but the main, uh, main business uh, authority and organisation is in London uh, to run New Zealand and 250 countries with this flag. <coughs> so the main reason why Auckland is because that's we're going back to the original three native courts, magistrate courts in New Zealand set up in the province of Auckland going from um, Auckland down to uh, Tiki Tiki from Aorua, um, Aorua Native Court in um, Helensville down to Whakawhitjira Native Court in Tiki Tiki <coughs> Waiapu Districts and the St. Mary's Church on the birth certificates there um, to um, uh, that's before 1840 before 18, after 1840 the whole of North Island was Ulster <coughs> but before that it was the British King's title uh, King William um, between King William and um, Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manukau in 1820 to 1830. And uh, 1833, um, um, Captain James Cook founded New Zealand, wasn't uh, gazetted, but King William IV uh, authorised it um, as being founded and then gave the flag on the 20th of March 1834 as being founding of this country, <coughs> uh, straight to Britain. That's our British title that we're going on over this other title of the Queen and her fraud business corporate crown entities or organisations that we're going to build now. So now, <coughs> I'll say it this way. Kingy, I hope you're satisfied with that uh, description of what happened and this guy Marishes, Marish, Kevin Marish. Maris, 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 and his name is Marish, and it's Marsik now. See, he's changed his name. But I've had a good running on, on with him on, online, so I'll just finish that off later. And um, I'll just put.
this guy just wasted my time, um, Mar Marish, Mar Marish <coughs> Gavin. He's the guy that <coughs> I was telling Kingy. He led that um, group of Maori U.S. Marshals into Cook Street. I put a complaint in the police against him on this video. You, Gavin, I'm putting a complaint in against you as being fraud. Fraud. Um, orientated. Fraud orientated. So <coughs> I'm sorting Kingy up and the chiefs up north. Something you can't do, Gavin. That's something you can't do. I just wasted my time on you because I'm always busy and you've taken up a lot of my time this morning. I could be in the gym now, but I wanted to carry on with my work, with setting up the court here in Auckland and um, um, up north, um, Kingy's filled in, the other chiefs all talking on this page, Gavin. It's something you can't do. You, you can never do this. That's why you're playing up like your ancestors. They go berserk and start playing games <coughs> and using the Bible to hide underneath and tell everybody we're all sinners and you're not. I'm just saying, Moai, straight up truth, Gavin. Straight up truth. You don't need a middleman. You just tell the truth. If you can't tell the truth like what you're doing, then there's something wrong with you. Don't tell me that I take my meds because I don't anymore. I don't need them. I just look after myself best I can. <clears throat> and I'm not going to be influenced by thugs and pirates like you. Anyway, I'll just finish off what I was saying before because guys like this spoil my videos and spoil my pages on Facebook. There's 106 pages, 106 sites that I look after. <coughs> On top of that, with the um, Twitter accounts, two of them, and also the website um, accounts. And also the whole of New Zealand, and the world for that matter, on top of that, if you haven't noticed. So, um, Kingy, I'll just give you a brief um, breakdown of how the financials work, because I don't keep secrets, Mr. Gavin. Anyway, it's like this. You take 30% of the population of New Zealand, of 4.5 million, <coughs> split it up, and that's the debtors. No matter. We can do what we like with this flag now. It's legal. It's perfectly legal for us to assess the damage, the injuries, to 70% of the population of New Zealand. This is going across the world from Britain where we take the 250 countries in Britain, including New Zealand, and split it amongst 7.5 billion people in the world with the same formula. We're doing a one pound note formula right across the whole world and split down into New Zealand. So New Zealand will get a portion <coughs> of the 970 million trillion trillion pound note split down into one billion trillion Pound note one, that's one pound note for New Zealand, split amongst those 30% of the population of New Zealand. Okay, roughly one million people will get the bill. <coughs> we just put the figure in and pull them off one by one. We pull each person one by one, then build them between that divided amount of one million <coughs> people out of 4.5 million people in New Zealand. It would be roughly 30%, 30%, if we took 30% of 4.7 million, um, then that's the figure we divide into the 1 billion trillion, one single pound note. And that's a figure stacked up against that person we've named, John Keyes, one of He shares the bill of the Rothschild, Rothschild banks, all the fraud corporations in the world abusing this flag of Admiralty, of King William III, King William IV, St. Patrick's Church Order in Belfast, and also St. Mary's Church birth registers in Tiki Tiki, East Coast, on my land block. Right there. 
Okay, that's the president case. We're setting this president case in Auckland on Cook Street. Land, one land equals 66 million acres in New Zealand. Equals the rest of the world in 250 countries from this blueprint straight to Britain. And I hope you're watching in Britain, Theresa May and um, Sir Philip Jones, first Lord of the Sea, our legal partner, legal partner, legal partner with this flag, 1834. 20th of March 1834, your British ship came here with King William and said the land belonged to him. We're taking it as contract. That's a contract. With our chiefs signed that contract with him to sell the land because Te Rawaika told Wharehere Here Manukau. And Moriori chief was already in England in 1820. That's why they went around selling all England, uh, the British land titles in the world, from 1820. So I'm deciding to go back to 1820 and start from there. No, I'll stick to New Zealand as being 1834 and 1820 being Britain in Westminster Magistrate Court. The titles will start from there for the world and Britain to seize back all that wealth stolen by Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth and the Rothschilds and the Pope and the Vatican Church and State and the US Federal State, NATO, UN, Israel, um, Bank of England, uh, Church of England, <coughs> uh, royal families, 500 royal families, and also uh, IMF, and um, um, name it, all the rest of the, the US federal state, uh, United States of America, all the corporate private companies, Vatican City, City of London, Washington DC, all the other corporate companies, Get in that big bill and split and right across the board. One shot right through with this flag. This flag is going to seize all those admiralty titles back into the King's Bench Court in Westminster. <coughs> we use the uh, Supreme Court, or rather the Admiralty Court in the Rolls Building, to put our cases online without going there. That saves a lot of cost. They did that to save a lot of costs and to cut out all the wasted time on cases that lose. We are not in it to lose, King E and those paramounties. We are there because no one fronts up and defends their name. If you don't defend your name that's in the box, Gavin, your name's going in the box with John Key and all the rest of them, Sean Elias, um, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of New Zealand is fraud. She's already in the box, <coughs> and Jerry Matapurai, the governor, um, ex-governor general of New Zealand, and now the ambassador to New Zealand, he's in the box. They're walking the bill, and so we split the 70% as beneficiaries over the hundred, uh, the billion trillion pound note. Split that figure, and then we use that as a basis of a formula. Uh, Kingy and Bundy and, and money, we're using that and my crew, uh, Jamie and um, uh, Desmond and Matt Taylor and Jackie, uh, Jackie and Andy and um, Scotland, Matt's in England and uh, Brighton <coughs> and there's others as well, um, but I won't say anything just yet. Let you know, the formula that we're using will come from this land title here in Auckland province under this eight point star of the um, <coughs> um, what's that word again? The um, I always forget that word. Principalities. Municipalities. The municipalities is this flag eight point star of St. Patrick's order in Belfast. That's where my ancestor Cosgrove's come from, Belfast, and Jamie's Patrick, um, ancestors of the Patrick. Eight point star comes from the surname. Okay, she's carrying the surname. <coughs> I'm carrying the titles of that to King William III, created that municipalities to collect the rent for the king, conquered lands, and the occupation of the land titles in all the native countries, conquered, and uh, the uh, 
ground rents, uh, leases, <coughs> waterways, um, admiralty waterways, and um, sinkholes, and water that springs out of nowhere, and all up the valleys and, and streams and rivers. Uh, those titles are the admiralty titles of the seabed land and the seabed itself uh, titles. That's what we are putting in this um, um, case in Auckland as being <coughs> a blueprint uh, to the world of claims of the beneficiaries back on the fraud um, transactions on banking, land um, transfers. Uh, from an original authority. We are an authority uh, with this flag of admiralty jurisdiction and constitution in itself. Um, protectorate of the British Navy and military. Sir Philip Jones, uh, First Lord of Sea, and his military uh, there, officers, and um, Philip Hammond, <coughs> the uh, um, Treasury. Um, Treasury, a Lord of Treasury, and also Theresa May, um, Lord of the the House, um, um, and also she's the Lord of the Treasury. <coughs> she's the Lord of the Treasury um, for a few years, twenty years or so, uh, and um, uh, Arlene uh, Foster, uh, uh, DUP, uh, First Prime Minister of uh, Belfast, uh, Northern Ireland is our partner as well with this eight point star there. So I haven't heard back from her yet. I wrote her a letter on Facebook, but I will write her an official letter. <coughs> I also will write a letter while I'm thinking about it to um, Sir Owen jo um, Owens. Um, Sir um, Owen, Owens, Owens. He was on the news recent, recently, so I'm going to give him a letter as well. Um, and tell him about what we're doing here. He might be able to hop in and help out. <coughs> so that's the numbers. We're crunching the numbers. And also um, the Auckland side of the um, business, uh, as with Ngāpui, will handle on their upper house, on the Whakaminia upper house, and their budget. I'll have a budget for them and Kingi and um, Manahi and... Um, Bundy and his crew up there will run that business and um, and its financials. I'll just be operating the bank, the Maui Powerhouse Bank, in the Maui Crown King William IV Trust here in Auckland. The bank equals the trust. <coughs> I'll just put some articles on <coughs> my Facebook. You go to Maui Crown King William IV um, Court. King William for trust and also the where is it? I haven't got this other site. I thought I might have it. I just want to tell you the sites. The My Crown, King William for Federal State Court. That's the court I'm I'm writing stuff on for this Auckland court. Here on that court. The My Crown, King William IV, Federal State Court. <coughs> the federal state the flag is a federal state flag and a confederation uh, flag at that. 1834, not 1835. So, um, I think I've said enough for this video before it runs out, and I don't like videos that cut off before the end, and it reaches 4 gigabytes. But today, uh, I'm just um, putting together the, um, the these figures, and the stamp, I've got the stamp, I'll just show you a picture of the stamp on site on oh, no, here. I'll just show you what it looks like so you've got an idea. <coughs> I'll show you what um, I'm making the fucker meaning us stamp for their documents. Uh, so I've um, got a company that can put it together on Monday and uh, give me a cost on it. Um, I, I'm still I'm still putting together. Now that's what it looked like there. Okay. I just gotta put the words around um, around here. At the top, it's got Whakamininga, Whakamininga Parliament, Great Seal of New Zealand. 
Oh my god, I can't see what that. Fuck a oh, fuck a meaning up, Parliament, Great Seal of New Zealand. And at the bottom, I've got King William IV Declaration of War Trading Bank Flag. Okay? <clears throat> That's one's going up top and one on the bottom. You've got King William there. You've got um, um, Hongi Hika here. And Tirawai Kato Whare Here Here Manikau. He's the one that made the deal with King William IV to sell New Zealand land. Okay? I'm just showing you. This is our stamp, official stamp, and here's the flag here with the Admiralty ship on the treaty grounds, with our flag there of King William gave to these two chiefs, okay, Ngāpui, Moriori, Ngāpui, Moriori, okay, Hongiheka, Cook Island, Moriori, here, this is Cook Island, Maori, or not Maori, sorry, Cook Island, native Tahitian, Moriori, <clears throat> native of this country, okay? Uh, Chatham Islands or Reku, this one. That's Manahi, Parapara, Mohini. You see the old name? You can't find a name like that. Manahi goes back uh, a few generations. Parapara, uh, back to Parapara, Parapara, Mohini, 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 all the way back as native black man. And the same with Hongi Hika. Okay? Hika, 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 all the way back. Uh, just like a rattle gun, okay? So that's our stamp, and here it says um, Partnership Flag International, oh, established 20th of March 1834. And at the bottom it's got, oh gosh, I can't read it. Municipalities of St. Patrick's Eight Point Star Flag. There you go. That's this here. That's this on my head. Municipalities. Municipalities of St. Patrick's Eight Point Star on this flag. And King William IV seal in the middle. And his crown on the top. And Eight Point Star. Okay. So that's, that's really um, the stamp I'm making from... A uh, stamp that's already there looking like that in the company okay so that's really what I wanted to show you how I'm putting together and they can do it straight off that picture I'll just send the pictures in and they can do it so that becomes the authority that becomes the authority over this country <coughs> and the Pacific Islands of that flag that king those two native chiefs that's it that is it kingy that is it. And to everybody watching these videos, <coughs> you're learning who we are. You're learning very fast who we are and what power we have as commercial land owners in a private contract of Admiralty flag jurisdiction with the King direct. No one can interfere or tamper with what I'm going to do in Cook Street with the Paramount Chiefs to seize one piece of land back for fraud of John Key, his banks, the land transfer, the name Manukau is not on their titles, the Lynn's titles. <coughs> the 1952 um, Land Transfer Act has 